So this here is going to be a painting video on how to paint nerglings. Now we have uh, one one uh, lone unit here that we needed for our list. So we painted it up and I figured we'd do a video because we don't have a uh, nurgling video that isn't contrast paint on the channel so far. I'll link the contrast paint one uh, right here as well as put a, a link in the comments. Uh, but aside from that, this is this one's done using mostly just shades and so it's a pretty f slick little way of doing it. It only uses a couple of different colors pretty fast. In fact, the longest part of this is waiting for the shades to dry. If you uh, are interested in making yours look similar to this, then stay tuned and we'll show you exactly how we painted it up. Uh, we made one ourselves out of the loose nurglings you get from uh, Plague Marines and um, Nurgle Demons and so forth and so on. But the painting style is the same as if you have the actual model. So we're going to do this one up with um, just normal style, not the layer paint, because we do want to match some of the ones we have from before. I want to put them in a bigger unit. So with that, we're going to paint this one up. We are going to start by priming it with Corax White, which is just the overall spray paint base coat. So we're going to do that now, and we'll be back in a few minutes with it painted and based up with white. So now that our uh, base coat is finished, what we're going to do now is two coats of Athonian Camo Shade. So this is a nice, easy paint job. All we're going to do is spread that on quite um, generously here. When it dries, we're going to put a second coat on because we're going to want both coats uh, to get all the detail we want and to change the color um, to a darker green and, and, and uh, tweak the color of our base color. So we'll do that right now. I'm just going to take our Camo Shade and just right out of the pot, put it right on the models. Like I said, we built this one ourselves, so it might not match the ones you have. But that said, you're going to do the same thing for the regular Nurgling model. And we're just going to douse that on quite nicely, filling in all the little grooves. So we'll finish this up. We'll be back here in a few minutes. We'll show you what first coat looks like, and we'll do the second. This is our first coast, coat of um, Athonian Camo Shade on our Nurglings. As you can see, it definitely tinted them green. We're going to put a second coat on now and try to bring that green out even more. So we'll be back here again in a few minutes. This is our model after the second coat of, of uh, Athonian Camo Shade is finished and dried. And what we're going to do now is add a dry brush to bring up even more green. So we're going to take the appropriately named Nurgling Green. And what we're going to do with that is dry brush that right over the entire model. Make sure we got that nice and light. And then we're just going to dry brush that on like so. You don't have to be too neat about it. And the nurgling green will lighten up as it dries as well. Just like so. So we'll keep dry brushing that all over the model. And then we'll be back here in a few minutes when it's done. So here's our Nurglings now that the green is dried. And what we're going to do now is move on to the next color we're going to do. Now some of the Nurglings have boils or pustules. We're going to take a little bit of Ungor Flesh. And with a very, very pointy little brush. We're just going to pick those out. Just like that. So anywhere you see them on the models, uh, just go in with the Unger Flesh and lighten them up with that pussy type color. So we'll do the rest of those. Be back here in a few minutes again. So now that we're finished with the boils, we're going to move on from there, taking a little bit of Xandri dust and going over all of the horns. Just like that. So we'll do that for all the other ones. Be back again in a moment. So here we are the, now that all the Xandri dust horns are done. We also took the time to pick out some of the little teeth. But that was purely optional. We didn't have to do that. What we're going to do now is take a little bit of Screamer Pink. And we're going to do all of the entrails and gore that we've got going on here. So 
just like so. We're going to do all of that as well as any of the fleshy wounds or things like that that are on the models. Any any um, any um, cuts or anything along that. Anything that's got bloody guts in it. So we'll do all that with the Screamer Pink and we'll be back in a few minutes. Then here's our model now that we finished with the Screamer Pink. So we did any dangling entrails. Some on over here. Some over here. We did any tongues. We did any open wounds. So we did all that already with the Screamer uh, Pink. We're going to move on now to a shade. So with our shade, what we're going to do is take a little bit of Agrax Earth Shade, and we're going to go over all of the Xandri Dust Horns, as well as all of the uh, entrails. Um, and then we may as well do a little bit around the boils as well. So we'll do that now. So right over all the entrails like so just to get some more detail out of that. And then when we add our highlight, it'll really stand out. So just like so. We're also gonna do all of the horns. And we're gonna dangle the models upside down for the horns, so it pools at the tips. Um, gonna make it look a little bit more realistic as the horns get darker as they go up. So it won't take long to dry. So I'll hold it like that for now, and we'll be back in a few minutes. So here's our models now that the Agrax Earthshade has dried. And as you can see, the horns are darker at the top. Everything sort of gradients up there, which is great. So what we're going to do now is take a little bit of Pink Horror. And we're just going to edge highlight a lot of those entrails. Just like so. That makes them nice and gruesome. So we'll keep plugging away at this. We'll do the tongue as well and all the other uh, higher layers we can get here. And we'll be back in a few minutes to see how it looks. And what we're going to do now is take a little bit of Uriel Yellow and try to pick out the eyes on the model. Just like that there. So we'll do a bunch of these and be back in a few minutes. So that's our Yuri Yellow finished. So the model's pretty much finished now. Some of the models have a little bit of slime on them or drool or something like that. A little bit here off of um, this tongue. Uh, some of the usual nurglings as well have them there. You can put a little bit of moot green if you like. Uh, or you can leave it, you can make it look like blood. Anything you like there. But for the most part our model is finished. What we're going to do is do up the base and then flock it and then uh, clear coat it and be back here again with the finished product. So this here is our finished model and as you can see it turned out half decent. So we're pretty happy with the way it looks and it matches the uh, other ones in the set so that our unit still looks, uh, looks all the same. So if you like this video and you're happy with it please feel free to leave a like or a comment. Uh, with 9th ninth, ninth edition, we're going to see a lot more Nurglings, so this is a fast, sleazy way that you can paint it with only a couple of different colors, and it doesn't take very long. In fact, the longest part of this was waiting for the shades to dry. But, in any case, if you like videos like this, please feel free to subscribe to the channel, and uh, stay tuned, and we'll see meet here on another painting video. Uh, aside from that, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you at our next painting video.